these two birds are one of them is higher one of them is lower but both are small <clears throat> and if i kind of divide into the half the surface it's a square size but that would be fine if you have oval shape of canvas or rectangle that's fine you can add a little bit more space on top or bottom or even left and right i choose half my paper some half a can canvas most part of this bird is on top and a little bit of head of the second one is on top so something like that i imagine the line as a division and then place my bird and if i cut from this part one of them is on the left one of them is on the right that's helpful to place my bird this line and then the bird, if you see, I focus on this one, it's like an egg shape, big egg shape. You can imagine how much would like to have the size of your bird and then draw one big egg shape. I want to have something like that. Doesn't need to be perfect in your egg shape. At any time we can fix the shape, even add the background color, then exact color of bird and always fix our shape. Just we do drawing for, for an idea where should we place our bird this is an egg shape for my bird and a tiny bit for the tail i separate it too and after place my egg shape of body and this tail i can make a little bit accurate so if you see this part of the body we can imagine as a neck here is more big a little bit on the chest is big we can bring it out and then move back and then for the head i come inside a little bit more and make it curvy here just come inside and make I need to go inside for these two parts and it's okay because uh, with background color I can show you more and make the drawing perfect and this is the separation of the wing like this would be enough after you draw up a boat egg shape as a bird we need to just go hold this area that shows these are uh, the leaves that place because it's colorful I will I don't want to add the tone for those and if you see in a big size the whole shape you look like the heart like that the leaves so just I need to add a little bit outline there I place randomly it doesn't need to be perfect I randomly add some line around the birds it goes out then reach this side and then from the other side it's a start from here randomly I add some line around like this and move here outlining then back reach to the tail of the spirit just go for outlining this is here connect this side and then from the top of the uh, back of the body actually it's from here with the purple tone 
then comes and reach the other side of canvas like that. It's like one side of the heart is higher, the other side is lower, something like that. I'm not adding any branch so far. We will do later. Just add a little tone. So I'm going to take the yellow ochre, bring it on the center here, and take the white color as well. When I mix together, they gave me, they give me a creamy color, something like that. And it depends how much yellow ochre or how much white you add. If you want the creamy color be darker, you can add more yellow ochre, less white. So this is the nice color I want. I take a little bit of that because I make a lot. And then bring this brownie color a tiny bit. If you see, I'm not adding a lot, just a little bit to make the warmer tone. If you work on a value like the chart that we have in black and white, one side is white, the other side is black. And then in between, you can make a lots of grayish tone that's uh, more close to black or close to the white color, something like that. And this happened for all the colors that you want to premix. So a little bit more, a little by little at the brown because I don't want to see huge change. I'm happy with this color. It's already dark, darker than this one. And a tiny bit blue I would like to add. And heavy paint, always useful to cover the white of canvas so easily. Bring your brush a stroke close to the drawing part. Even you can fix the shape of drawing, go inside that, doesn't matter. And then after we add the leaves color, we can come on top of the background too. So please cover it around your background color with the light tone, heavy paint. Add your brush stroke like, like this way, right, left, like an X shape. It's more easy to cover white of the canvas.
for who has this color. So this is directly used for the shadow part with darker green and take a little bit with white color to reach lighter green. And you see it's so close to the color that we need already. But if you don't have this color, it doesn't matter. We need to make something close to that. We have already blue, light blue. I take more. We need yellow color, and it's better to be something like this yellow. It's um, cadmium yellow, tiny bit yellow. I'm saying this for who doesn't have any green like that. So if you have it, do doesn't need to premix yellow and light blue color. Take a little bit light blue, yellow. Premix these two together. It's better yellow be less than blue and then white color. It's more green. If you add more blue, you can reach exactly the color that you want, something like that. So we already, during any painting that we want to do, we need to know color mixing because we want to reach the color that we interested for. Always, we don't have all the teal. Let me clean my palette, palette knife. Take some blue and then purple. Mix these two together. Now give me something darker purple. Darker purple and bluey. If you want to be, because purple is more toward bluey, more sometimes toward reddish. For If you want to make reddish purple, you need to add a little red inside as well. But I'm happy with that. So please premix some colors. We need directly pure brown, pure yellow ochre, then the green color, light and dark, purple, light and dark, heavy paint, and then move on with yellow ochre, pure yellow ochre. I recommend to take heavy paint and make a texture on top. Bring it here. It's already can premix on, on our palette. I'm sorry, on our canvas or even if you don't need take heavy paint smoothly try to make the shape shape of leaves back to the brownie or just try to play with the colors here and make some nice tone as a leaf and make it really heavy bring that up square shape even I'm not watch a lot on the model. I try to shape the leaf look like uh, the fall leaf that is so colorful. I move a little bit here further. This side is green. I leave it that. I move on here. They're so close together. After when they mix together, they give me this nice color. Even when I move on, I try to fix the shape as well of birds. Then add a little dark tone, use some. I try always use my brush to make the shape more in interesting. It depends. Some part you need to use just the tip, the flat part here, or hold the hair or the side. I just go with that part. And then I move on with the purple. I can go with another brush or even wash these this brushes and then work with the same brush. So I put this aside, move on with the others, and start with this darker purple, exactly close to this one. And you see the difference come together. It doesn't need to be all in the same color, but I'm so careful. Easily heavy paint I take and very gently try to touch the surface, bring the dark purple to shape it as a leaf. Even if I move on the top of the uh, brownie color, I try to be gently, very less pressure in my hand, like when I touch the baby face. 
try to put heavy paint on top. You can see the texture that I add, so heavy. And that heavy paint helped me, my purple come on top of a um, brownie color. And then try to shape it like the leaf. Take again. And at the same time, I am fixing the shape of the neck on bird. So slowly, we don't need to be worry and be hairy of that. Then clean the brush with napkin. I don't recommend to clean it by water, just napkin and then lighter purple. Bring the light purple on top and just one touch or two touch of brush stroke make it more interesting. And heavy paint, I leave it like that. Then close to that, I can move on with the green and here I can move on with creamy color. So I have already creamy color on my uh, brownie, I mean. So I start with this one first. Reddish brown or darker brown. Shape the leaf come top of the background. Then move on, lighter tone. Shape it as a leaf again, back and forth with the light and dark. And I'm interested to make the painting look like oil color because of that, I'm not adding the water in between. It depends because acrylic is a water-based paint. We can use it as a look like oil or we can use it look like watercolor. It depends how much water you want to add in between. Even we can add a tiny bit white mixed with the lighter purple to reach even lighter tone, just a bit. And then come on top like that it's interesting different tone then clean the brush we finish with the purple and we need this two part with green so i can move on with the green take another brush or even if you have just one you can wash the brush that you already have in your hand Move on with darker green for this part in between. With the tip, you can come inside the other part of the leaves and shape it correctly for any shape of leaf that you're interested. And then for the top, use whole the hair. and make it look like broken line, like that. Clean it by napkin, move on the lighter tone. Even if you like to blend it again back to the darker tone, bring it close to the light and try to repeat a little bit stroke to let them blend together.
start with the dark purple and then come close to the third body, shape it like that, a little pointy. Nice to have a point on each part of the leaf, the other fourth here. And then I move here for the uh, this part with the lighter purple. So I'm going to add lighter purple close to this one. Even if they mix together, it would be okay. But I always love heavy paint. So I take heavy paint, try to see this brush stroke. Then I have a napkin beside my, myself and always clean my brush with napkin. Move on with the dark tone, even if you like one stroke to make it like that here. And then I see more purple and this part too. So move on with the dark tone first. One stroke. Bring it to the background. With the lighter purple, add on top and play with your stroke to make the leaf more interesting. Even one stroke here, one there. It's not just this purple. I think we need a little lighter value as well. So take white color with the light purple, premix them together. A little bit light would be okay.
and I'm going to start with purple because here is purple. So with the darker purple that I already have, adding a tone, withhold the brush, to separate the shape of leaves. And then on top with the lighter, <clears throat> with the lighter tone, add some stroke. Like that. We already have both light and dark, a little bit white purpley. Bring it here and there. Just I play with the colors. And I'm okay with the purple. It's okay. We can leave it there. And then move on with green. Dark green and light green. Take dark green. I, I see one stroke is here, close to this part. And more I can see on the top part. I just use hold the brush and then take the lighter tone, place it one here and there. The left side is light, but the right side is on shadow. So I'm going to add light tone on the left side and then leave it like that. Then clean the brush, move on with the brownie color. I'm going to take brown close to this side. Try to keep the edges because that edges make the leaves so interesting. Even when I'm coming here. Try to add tip like this heavily. I put this aside, tiny bit black I need to add because we need the black for birds. So we can use this for branch as well. We have already brown, really tiny black I'm going to add and then reach darker black, darker brown. Take some paint and imagine where you want to add your branch like here. I take it not like that, please not laying down straight put your brush here really straight draw your line there like this even if it's not dark much you can then repeat it or even make it heavy like that then continue for here then connect it to this one but it depends, some, some artists interested for round and pointy brush. If you feel more happy with that, you can add the line with pointy brush, then continue here, connect it here. I just continue under the leaves. And then one side of bird. I have another branch here, which is a smaller, like that, continue. Try to make it a little dark. Heavy. And this is um, hide under the other leaves. For the main one, which is uh, under the bird's foot, I'm going to add a little bit more black. And it should be something like this way. It's better the purpley color be completely draw. Mine is here is a little wet, so I leave.
So the one is lighter. I'm going to take the white, bring it here. Very, very tiny bit black. Mix with that and reach the lighter tone. Lighter gray, I mean. This light gray is good for the part that uh, on top should be white. A little bit more. Please uh, bring little by little the darker tone and see what happens and not seeing any huge change. So I put this aside. It's good for the chest, which is uh, a really light part, this color. This is light gray color. I add a lots of white and very tiny bit uh, black into that. Then this time again, take white, bring it here and more black we need to have. We need darker gray. And on the bottom part, it's this darker gray. I can bring it from the other side. They mix together. It's okay because I want to make it look like feather on top. So take heavy paint, small brush stroke and heavily make it look like that. And you already help it with a tip. You already make it look like feather. Let me bring it close. You see what I mean? It's look like that. And then again, clean the brush back to the lighter gray. Take heavy paint, bring on top. Come inside. They easily mix together. Small brush stroke. I hope it's visible. Yep. Small brush stroke, make it look like feather, the shape of feather. And now I'm going to bring the black that helps my uh, colors come out. The pure black with small brush here. Let me, my birds, make more. Beautiful and the shape be more accurate. Now, when I'm going to add the black. In some part, they mix together and gave me nice a gray color would be fine. Try to come inside for the neck and then move out for the chest. And then here I need to add some line as the edges and make the feathery shape, but it's okay if the black mix with this grayish color. I really want that to let them mix together. Take heavy black, bring it to this feathery shape like this. Clean it. Then continue with uh, this color, darker gray that we already make for the back of head, like here, I would like to make it darker, even the eyes part, bring it a little bit on top. When they wet, the white and this small brush stroke mix together. Then back to the lighter tone again, come on top. I'll let them make look like feather. And now again with the bigger brush, that, that was so small. I'm going to add the rest of the feather here with this size. Pure black. And I let this brown, uh, this, this gray mix with this black. Pure black. It depends on the shape of the brush stroke. You can easily make the feather on top. 
take heavy paint, small stroke, leave it be visible like this. It's already make the feather much more easily. And then move on here on a tail with the same with the black color or even in between, it's nice to have brown as well. And then I mentioned about pure white color. So now I can take some pure white color, just one or two stroke here and one stroke here. That would be enough, not much. And then for the nip and the eye, I'm going to use a smaller brush stroke with the round and pointy one. Take pure black. We need to make a circle on this part. Half a circle on the white, half a circle on the black. That one. And the tip is like a small triangle, the nip actually, I think. Small triangle. Like this. And then clean the brush very well. We need just a pure white color, add the shine inside the eye, just one time. Tiny shine, small, make the eye be interesting. So this is the first bird. And just one side, I, I can see the foot, that it's on top of the, um, branch with the black just from here continue to connect to the uh, branch the other is tiny bit here it shows that it's standing on top of this branch and we can make the branch a little bit thicker as well 